Hello, and welcome to another video lecture for Mr. Mosher's 8th grade U.S. History class. Uh, the topic of today's lecture is looking at the battles of World War II, primarily in the European theater of war. So uh, the textbook reading for this particular lecture series comes to us from pages 815, 819, War in Europe and North Africa. And uh, there's a few things that will be in pages 825 to 829, Victory and Consequences. Uh, the guiding questions in today's lecture is what was D-Day? Uh, why were Allied casualties so high? Uh, what happened at the Battle of the Bulge? Uh, how did Berlin fall into Allied hands? What is VE Day and when is it? So during World War II, um, after the invasion of North Africa by Allied forces, and were the Allied forces were able to successfully drive basically the uh, Germans out of Africa, uh, the next big part was to open up a second front in Europe. Uh, remember, after the violation of the non-aggression pact, Germany invaded the Soviet Union uh, and brought in Russia or the Soviet Union in as an allied fighting with the, the British and the American and other allied forces. For a long time, Russia had been asking for a second front, especially in France, and the allies knew that they had to eventually invade France to get to Berlin, which would basically end the war in Europe. On June 6, 1944, that invasion takes place on an area of beach known as Normandy, France. Uh, today we call this the Battle of D-Day. Uh, the actual name of the operation was known as Operation Overlord. It was one of the largest invasions in uh, world history. About 4,000 landing craft um, of about 11,000 planes with about 176,000 troops come sail uh, from England across the English Channel and invade France. Uh, about 10,000 Allied soldiers were killed or wounded, uh, and, but the Allies were able to secure the beachhead, which brought in eventually more troops. For the years uh, in the early 1940s, Germany had really fortified uh, the coastline of France, knowing that eventually there would be potentially uh, an invasion from Great Britain and to try to liberate France. And so Normandy was tremendously well fortified. Uh, it had bunkers and machine gun nests and anti-tank devices on the beaches, uh, barbed wire fences. I mean, it was pretty well defended and fortified. Now, the Allies sort of tricked Hitler and the Germans into thinking that their invasion was not going to be at Normandy, but actually at a place called Calais, which is a very uh, close, uh, in close proximity across the English Channel to France. Um, but even though there was a little bit of some trickery involved and in not thinking that this is where the invasion was going to take place, it, was, it still was very fortified, and a lot of Americans died almost immediately upon coming into contact on that beach. Uh, the result of the Normandy invasion was that by the end of June, uh, about 850,000 Allied troops, now that we have this beachhead secure, will sort of pour into France. And on August 25th, a few months later, Paris is finally liberated from German control and occupation. Uh, this is a view taken from a lifetime photographer. Uh, you can kind of see the landing craft uh, approaching the beaches there at Omaha Beach. Um, and you can see off in the distance the, on the hills where all the fortifications are located. And you can see the smoke and, and dust uh, and explosions taking place there in front of them. An interesting fact about the landing craft actually was invented uh, by an, a person from here in Omaha, so uh, invaded there. Today there's a national cemetery at Normandy uh, where many of the soldiers were buried uh, because of such a high casualties that took place. Following the invasion of France, uh, getting closer into the winter, uh, the Germans plan a massive counterattack known as the Battle of the Bulge or the Battle of the Ardennes Force is another name for it. Uh, Hitler was demanding a kind of a stop of Allied forces um, who were making some progress through France uh, into um, Belgium and the Netherlands. And Hitler demanded a counterattack of his military officers, which they do plan on December of 1944. They go on the attack, kind of catch the Allies off guard a little bit, uh, and push um, forces back into the areas of the Ardennes Forest. This happens in a horrible winter storm, a heavy snowfall. Uh, the Germans are actually rather successful at first, um, but the Allied forces are able to kind of regroup and then drive back uh, the German advance. About 120,000 Germans are killed in action, and about 80,000 Americans will either be killed in action, wounded, or go missing. Um, and it was kind of Germany's last major attempt to try and stop uh, the Allied advance. But really, after the Battle of the Bulge, it's going to be more kind of on the defensive end as Allied forces get closer and closer and closer. And really, it's getting to be a race because as the Americans and the British and Canadian forces are driving in from the west, 
you have the Soviet Union and their military forces driving from the east, also making advancements. And it's really a race who gets to Berlin first. And the Soviet Union actually get to Berlin first. On April of 1945, Berlin officially collapses and, and, and falls. Uh, Russian troops capture the capital city of Berlin. There you see a Russian soldier uh, displaying the Soviet Union flag uh, over the capital of, of Germany, Berlin. And Hitler, uh, knowing the time is coming to an end, does commit suicide on April 30th. Uh, and German leaders thereby surrender a few days later. On May 8th, uh, Germany, after the initial uh, declaration of, of surrender, uh, the war is now officially over in Europe, and this becomes known as VE Day, or Victory in Europe Day, which is now on May 8th. It's kind of a day of remembrance as the day that World War II ended and the fighting ended in Europe. So those are some of the key major battles that take place in a European theater of war during World War II. You've got the D-Day battle, the Battle of the Bulge, and of course the battle and the fall for Berlin and the, the, the end of World War II in the, on VE Day. So those have been the, the, some of the highlights of some of the major battles. Thank you for listening. As always, if you have questions, please make sure you come talk to me.